The Dell Inspiron 15 inch 7000 2 in 1 4K Ultra HD with a Core i7 processor 16 of RAM 512 SSD Obtain Black. The first thing that you guys have to do will be to remove all the screws that go around. Once you remove all the screws, the thing that you guys have to do is to slide over between the cover and the and the chassis, the triangle plastic tool. So once you guys remove all the screws, you have to go with the plastic guitar tool or triangle tool around the laptop. But start from the from the top right here, and then go slide over through here. And after that, when you lift it, you have to slide it over to the top. So you have to do this movement through here or like this. So in that way, this lock right here they get released from the below part of here. In here we have the battery. Here's the slot for the memory RAM. This is the Wi-Fi card. This is the actual fan. This is the heat sink. In here, under here we have we should have the processor and maybe the video chipset. In here we have the BIOS battery. Once we remove the, the three screws right here, we have to slide over the battery connector. Once we slide it over, we lift the battery up. In there said disconnect the battery before accessing any part or device. The next thing that I would like to remove would be the memory RAM. Right here we have one and right here we have none. That means that we have uh, 16 gigabytes in one slot and we could put an additional 16 gigabytes to have a total of 32. DDR4. We have two screws holding the SSD with this metal piece. Lift over the metal and let's make sure that you guys leave the, the two screws in there. And this is our SSD. To remove the wireless card, we have to take out this small screw that is holding it with this metal piece. Here we could, we could leave the wireless cable And then slide over to the back the wireless card. Once we perform that, we could remove the flex that are holding the unit. We get out the first one, and then we do the one for the keyboard. This is for the mouse and trackpad, and this will be for the keyboard. In here we have a data transfer cable that goes to the small card. If I'm not mistaken, um, this one is the one for the touch screen. We have to lift over this plastic. In here we have the the heat sink. We start from the first one. We have a metal here that is blocking the fan and a section. This should be the video chipset. So let me take out these two screws. So now we should be able to lift it. So this is small connector right here. It's for the fan unit. We slide it over and it's released. And then we have to take out the screws that is holding the fan. All right, this metal piece that is holding the fan after removing the two screws that, are hold, that is holding the unit, we have to lift it slowly. 
because it has some, some glue on it. So once we lift it over, we have to remove one more screw that is holding the unit. Remember the connector right here, the two screws that is holding and lift the metal piece. Once we do that, we could lift the fan. So this is our fan. To perform that, we could remove the other screws that are holding the unit. And make sure you guys follow the numbers that are writing on the black part of it. And here we have all the numbers. So you guys go in order. We have the heat sink here. It's our only one unit. And after that we have here our NVIDIA chipset. We have um, our processor with uh, the Intel with the Intel video card. In here we have uh, two VRAM chipset. Let's remove these two screws. And we remove this screw right here. This is uh, the, the small card that I was talking about. This flex right here is the back lid of the keyboard. We have to uh, slide over this connector. This is for the speakers. If you see the route is going to the speaker. And right here is for the display, you lift it over. And we have one more connector in here. This is a DC in. And then we have to lift over the little tape that is on top of the motherboard. We have to take out this screw right here. We should be able to lift the bracket of the screen. When we remove the screws and lift over the bracket, we have some screws that are holding the motherboard. On this case, is this one right here and this one right here so far. Over here. In here, this is the DC in. This is where you connect the charger for the laptop. So when we remove the two screws that are holding the motherboard, one right here and the other one right here, we are able to lift our motherboard. I really don't want to go so deep with this uh, keyboard disassemble, but so far you guys have to remove all the screws that are holding this entire metal piece, the metal piece that goes around here, and then this actual speaker's cable, you guys have to unroute it, and then take out the BIOS battery, leave over this little board right here, and then it should be able to release the actual keyboard. All right, once we release these two brackets right here, we have to make sure that this flex, we lift it over and we separate it from the flex that is going inside the keyboard. We should be able to lift this section and separate it from the screen. And in there we have our display. You have to make sure that all the flex are on the top and nothing is under here between the actual chassis and the screen. Okay, when we put it down, we have to make sure that we have these two flex right here on top of it. And then it's time to put the motherboard back in. And we start lifting the flex on top. We have to secure the motherboard. Once we perform that, is uh, make sure that you put the flex back in place. The first one, that's the back lid, the keyboard, the trackpad, 
or well known as a mouse, but this one has a trackpad. They always try to change names. And then we lock it down, and after that we have the speaker. We have to put back the little board. We have to put the BIOS, we have to uh, secure. First we have to put, once we put this back in, we have to put back the flex. This one right here. And then the cable of the battery, we have to put it next here, next to here. We should be able to put the screw that is holding the this little board. And we should be able to bring down the bracket. We should be able to put the screws right here that is holding the, the, the screen. We have one right here and then we should be able to put the other one. We should be able to put our heat sink back some people love to re repaste it, put a thermal paste. You remove this with little little cleaners, isopropyl, and then you clean out the, the part and then reapply the thermal paste. On my case, I'm gonna leave it like this. So the first thing that you guys have to do is go by the first number and then follow the other numbers in order. Once we do that, we could put our fan back in and we could reroute the cables that goes under the small plastic bracket of the fan. And don't forget about the connector. Then we go under here and then we connect it right here. So first of all, we have to put our fan connector back on place. We have to leave over this little small plastic secure locker. And we have to make sure that we put this flex right here that is coming from the display, from the screen. Remember, this screen is touch screen, so it should have more than one connector. We lock it down and then we put this other data transfer cable. We have to put the two screws that are holding the unit. We should put the, the LCD cable and the DC jack. Once we do that, we bring down this bracket Make sure nothing is uh, is blocking it. Once we do that, we should be able to put the two screws that is holding the unit. We have to put the second screw right here. We take the advantage of putting the RAM back in. And after that, we put the wireless card and we have to put the cable first. It, this little connector right here is to put a hard drive on this spot. You have to buy the, the cable, the connector, plus the metal secure for the hard drive. You could put a solid straight drive or hard drive. So, on this case, this battery that the laptop comes with is a 68WH. So that means that the size is bigger. To be able to put a hard drive right here, you need a smaller battery. So I recommend you to, to for you guys to buy this laptop as I customize. You get the SSD and you get an additional hard drive. So the battery already comes with it. Because if you do it after, it's gonna be a little bit more pricey when it comes to replacing uh, original part from Dell. So we here. Uh, we have to put here the SSD. We double check that all connectors are back in.
and after that we have to put our battery in here has a two secure lock so you guys have to like slide it over so like a plastic locks we have to put our battery connector back in and after that we have to put the cover and then we have to put all the screws back in hey guys thank you so much for watching this video if you guys have any questions please leave it below under the comments and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys